just say to death, you can't bother me. I am a child of God. I feel the presence of God. I see his infinite light. I feel his love. Into that I am going to merge sometime sooner or later. If it is now, let it come. I am a child of God. I fear nothing. God is with me. That's what the way we should be. We should be and should act as sons and daughters of God, children of God. And you cannot do it unless you know God. Yes, the Master came and gave a special dispensation where all who would, would follow, can know God, can know the Christ consciousness within, can merge in it, and can consciously pass into it when this little part we are playing in the drama of life is finished. Isn't that the honorable way to go? Isn't that the right way as, ch as children of God to go? Why should we fear anything, even death, when we know God? If you are able to do this, attain the state of conscious death, there are many things that happen. There are many advantages come. First, the body is better preserved. You take a person who is restless all over the place and jumping here and there, and, and inside jumping like that too, the body wears out, the nervous system wears out, with the resulting fatigue in the body, but worse than that is the mental fatigue, the mental unrest. If you know conscious death, you avoid that. The body and, we might say, the mental side of us is better preserved. Secondly, we are saved from the terrible sufferings of death and fear of death only because we do not know where we're going. We're not familiar with where we are headed, so to speak, when death finally does come. And so if you know this conscious death St. Paul spoke of, you will not be afraid. There will be no suffering, because when you know a thing, there's no suffering and have no attachment to leaving it. That's the key. Then there's no trouble. Also, you will be prevented from enduring and passing through the second death spoken of in the Bible. That's very important. Once knowing death, which you can know, once knowing it, the second death can never touch you. When you're born again in the world, you are not born in delusion. You are not born in delusion. You know, the soul knows, that when it has once more to leave the play, leave its part in the drama of life, it will do so willingly, knowingly as God's child. We have a reference to that in the scripture in Revelation, the second chapter, 10th and 11th verse. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. In other words, be faithful. Do not leave the sight of God by regularly, with daily meditations and devotion to him, passing through the state where you merge in his presence, be faithful to that, to the end when real death comes, then you will have a crown of life. He that overcometh shall not be hurt of a second death. That's the point. That's the key. That's the thing that's so hard to make ourselves realize. That through simple meditation every day and devotion to God, we will overcome death and will never again be touched by it. Because once, once meditating, feeling the heart stop, the breath stop, but you fully conscious, <coughs> feeling the body inert under your will, and you can say, now you can move body, you will feel that. Having that state, death will not touch you again. So you see how wonderful it is, the teachings which the Master has brought, that we will not be touched by the second death once passing through that state. And it is not. A fearful state is the state of perfect peace and joy because we are one with God the Father, Master of the universe. In fact, it is He who is in us. It is Our nature is Him, but how far from that are we at the present moment? 
We must regain that oneness with God. Then the second death will never touch us, as it should be, we being children of God. Now to elaborate just a little bit with a Bible reference or two. In St. John, the 8th chapter, 5th verse, If any man keep my saying, he shall never see death. St. Paul said, I die daily. Jesus said the same thing. Seek first the kingdom of heaven, and all other things shall be added unto you. The kingdom of heaven is in this state of conscious death. Conscious death. Conscious, full conscious relaxation. If you're tied to the body, we know the body changes. If we are tied to that, when the body passes away, our consciousness is going to pass away. But if we supersede that and be one with God the Father in us, as the Christ consciousness, second death cannot touch us. So we must do that. We must do that if we are at all sensible and reasonable. If any man keep my saying, he shall never see death. Revelation, the 14th chapter. Blessed are they that blessed are the dead, blessed are they, the dead, which die in the Lord from henceforth. That is, if you die fully in the Lord, you are very blessed indeed. Now let us discuss die in the Lord. What does that mean, to die in the Lord? It simply means to be fully absorbed in Christ consciousness within. To be...